You are watching Coda and the short series on domain modeling with Haskell. In this episode, we will generalize our domain model from the last episode, providing more fine grained reporting with less code. <laughs> In the last episode, we modeled a basic project management system using Haskell data structures. We had the ability to print project data structures and to produce a single economic report for an entire project. But the customer wants more fine-grained reporting. They want to see how individual projects are doing, if they are sticking to their budget. If you haven't watched the previous episode yet, I recommend you doing so before continuing with this one. Let's see what we already have. The calculate project report function recursively in a bottom-up fashion calculates reports and folds them together using the monoid instance. What we get back is a single report for the entire project tree structure. What we need our reports for each individual project. Looking at the project data type, we see that it's very concrete or specialized. There are no slots in the project constructors. In other words, there is no way of extending this data type for use cases we haven't foreseen. As we control the definition of the data structure, we could of course add more specialized field that support all the use cases that we know of. That approach, however, will bloat the project data type as our system grows and will most likely make it fragile and hard to work with. Instead, we will open it up, making it polymorphic. This enables us to reuse the project structure for different features of our system. Project configuration forms, a project comparison feature, a reporting module, a navigation tree, a project update WebSocket server, just to name a few examples. We add a type argument A, remove the specific project ID field, and add a polymorphic field A to the project constructor. As the data type is recursive, we need to use A when constructing the type for a subproject. Now, here comes the best part. By having a single type argument for our data type like this, we can derive some very useful instances. Functor, foldable, and traversable. Functor lets us map a function over the project leaves, retaining the original structure. Foldable lets us fold the project data structure into a single value in various ways, given that the element type has a monoid instance, or that we can map each element to a monoid. Folding collapses the structure. Traversable lets us traverse the project tree and perform an action at each element. The action is usually applicative or monadic. To derive these three type classes, we need to enable two language extensions, derive functor and derive traversable. Instead of directly calculating a single report, we will calculate reports for each leaf project using traversable. Then, with a transform tree containing reports, we can fold it into a single report. We need to import fold from data foldable. We write a new version of calculate project report from a project of project IDs to an IO action of project of reports. It is defined using traverse and the action that's performed at each element calculates a report using the respective project ID. Note how we transform a pure value, the project structure of project IDs, using an impure action, 
and get back an impure action returning a project structure of pure report values. This is one of the beauties of Traversable. Given that we have a project of reports, we can then fold together all those individual reports into a single report using the foldable instance. The accumulate project report function is simply a specialization of fold, a method in the foldable type class. Using applicative and foldable, we now have reports for all individual projects and a way of combining them into a report for the whole project tree. And we did not have to do any explicit recursion ourselves. We need to change our pretty printing now that we made project polymorphic. The as tree function will convert any project A into a tree of string labels, so we need a function from A to string. We call it pretty value. We use that function to print the value x of a single report. We also need to pass the pretty value function along when recursing. The pretty report will need the same type of function as an argument to apply as tree. Our test data in the demo module needs some changes too. We have changed the order of fields in a single project, so let's fix that. We can now calculate a project report data structure and print it nicely. We can fold the value into a single report and print that. OK, it's time to wrap up. With functor, foldable and traversable, we can structure our computations using domain-specific data types and reuse those data types for multiple use cases. We don't need to handle recursion explicitly and thus we can focus only on the transformations that we care about. In the next episode, we will get new customer requirements and evolve our project management system further using new techniques. If you like these videos, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the Coda YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.